What's up, everybody? This is Colin Bass, aka Crimson Blur from Comic Books. I'm here with Brian Q. Miller. Hey, guys. You know him from comics, TV, everything, and I'm going to ask him a few questions. So many things. <laughs> so many things. So All of my art that I do, I'm just we can keep numbering them off. So, my first question is this uh, you know, you, you have a huge foot in for writing the Smallville uh, comic right now. Sure. And I was wondering if you could bring in any hero or villain from the whole DC universe, what would your first choice be? Uh, well, I already did, and that was Batman. Okay, oh, excellent. So we took care of that. Um, any other ones that I know I'm doing, I can't say just yet because that oh, would steal scoops. Okay, got um, it. But I would say pay attention uh, within the next three months worth of solicits and you'll get some okay, big news excellent. about someone else people will be excited about. And just out of curiosity, do you have a, a say in what the new costumes look like? Because in, you know, in the comic, their some, suits are pretty different. Some. I mean, there was, there was input definitely. There was a direction I wanted to go in with the new Superman costume that, that we have for the book. Yeah. Um, then, you know, there was level of approvals that had to go through, and Jim Lee weighed in, a bunch of people weighed in, um, and we wound up where we are now. So, I mean, and, and that came at a time when I was not aware of the underwear rule. Oh, uh, okay. So, there would have been underwear, but uh, but it's okay that there's not. It's okay. not It's not a make it or break it thing for me. How many do you want to have Nightwing as a girl in this? Uh, why not have Nightwing as a girl? That's I mean, a great question. It was, it was just, it was a why not. I mean, it was a way to keep it as our own version right. um, of events. Um, you know, certainly it was going to go a slightly different way and it wound up a slightly different way than that. Uh, I think it still worked out for the best for everybody. Um, but it was a way to, more than anything, to give A, someone for Lois to have, you know, a girl power back-to-back mm -hmm. -back sequence with, but B, um, it says a lot about the Bruce that we portray. Right. Uh, you know, you're you're in a sense defined by the company you keep. So the fact that you know it wasn't a big hulking, you know, like even a very fit like Dick Grayson, who right. been, that it was on purpose this balancing element for Bruce oh. that was young, smart ass Barbara Gordon, <laughs> who's you know she's she's the light to his dark. She like we talked about it in, in development as like uh, in RPG terms that he's a tank yeah. in his class. And and she's a scout, like she's a dancer. She's I just so that she flushes them out, and then he comes in and cleans them up. So Definitely. that's yeah. that's I think in general why we went away. And are we going to be seeing some uh, different colored stones of kryptonite soon, or are we going to stick to the classic? Green? Um, we've done on the show. We did, I think. Every I can name color. them all off. Yeah, yeah we did. We did the greens and the red and the blue and the black and the gold. In retrospect, probably synthetic gold at one point. Um, did like prism at some point or there was a pink one that made him just like love everything. There was <laughs> so we we've touched on a bunch of them. Um, kryptonite can easily become a crutch. Yeah. So you know we certainly I, I strive to use it sparingly in the comics, um, but I don't know that we'll have a he found purple kryptonite and now he thinks he's a unicorn. I don't think <laughs> I don't think we're going to be doing that anymore. Okay, so, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you so much oh, for your time. Thank I you. really Thanks, appreciate guys. it. It's great meeting you. Great meeting you. Thank you. Thank you.